Hey guys, I'm gonna knock this out real quick because it's gonna be a super short week that was. Because I've been busy. Most of you know we're getting a house, so I've also picked up a little part-time stuff, trying to make a few extra bucks, pay for some of the stuff we wanna do to said house. Um, because it's a house, you wanna make it your own. Uh, and we're trying to knock that all out before we move in because we got a little bit of uh, leeway there. So if we knock that out, then unlike Mike, uh, we don't have to live through a kitchen rehell. Sorry, Mike, couldn't resist. All right, so what did I do this week? Um, I did finish up my reread of Stormfront by Jim Butcher. Gonna say, and, and wait for it, doesn't hold up as well as when I originally read it. Doesn't mean it's a bad book. I'm just saying when I originally read it, I loved that book, you know, four and a half, five stars. It's still a four, still a four for me. Uh, I didn't actually do a book review on it. Guys, let me know in the comments. The book reviews don't seem to be doing all that well most of the time. And while I enjoy doing book reviews, I'm also putting book reviews out on Goodreads and on Amazon. So if you want to see my book reviews and you just want to read them, uh, you can always follow me on Goodreads and just see it there. So if, tell me if you want the video ones. That's all I'm saying. If you like the video ones, I'll, I'll knock one out. Uh, not this weekend, though. We're going out of town. So next week's going to be a little short, too, with the holiday. We're doing a little three-day weekend, the wife and I. But like I said, I finished up Stormfront. Sometimes I got to look at Goodreads to remember when I finished a book. Was that the only one I finished last week? Yeah, because I finished The Sky on Fire. I put that, I put that book review out. Uh, last Friday. So I already did that. So yeah, Butcher's Stormfront's the only one I finished this week. I did get started on Wilding Hall uh, by Elizabeth Hand. Liking that book so far, like I said, Paul Jessup and I, yes, Paul, we still need to pick a time, uh, are going to do a little uh, buddy read discussion on that. He's also talking about, while we're at it, uh, he cocked me into watching The Wicker Man, the original, uh, with Robert Woodward the other day. And gonna maybe discuss how what I thought about that too. Uh, he's a much bigger horror fan. Well, he's a horror writer, but he's a much bigger horror fan than I am. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll save it for the discussion because I know he's gonna want to talk about it. But so yeah, we'll be discussing Walden Hall the book and Wicker Man the movie. Just because you know what else you're gonna do. Uh, also, I got started audiobook. I'm listening to Five Broken Blades. Love it. It's an ensemble cast. So far, I'm early in, but it's got an ensemble cast. I always love those. And so far, the story is pretty interesting. Definitely looks like it's going to be one of those where you see the different characters and how the plots all come together. Stop smacking the microphone. I don't think that's a spoiler. That's just, you know, how the book goes. There's, you know, I'm not giving any actual story points. Um, but yeah, that one's actually doing pretty good too. So this weekend, like I said, we're going to be out of town. I'm going to try to finish up Wilding Hall just so that Paul and I can discuss it. And, you know, uh, the way things are going, I might knock out Five Broken Blades this week, too. And then, of course, ah, yes, I am reading. This is my paper. I'm taking this with me, too. This is my actual physical book. I am taking a good family with me. Going to get that started. I know I've been saying that for a while, but it is literally my next physical book right now. Also because I don't remember if I said it. I think I posted it on Instagram, but I don't think I actually said anything to you guys on YouTube. A uh, little book mail for me. Want to give a shout out to Orbit. They sent me a copy of Long Live Evil by Sarah Reese Brennan. Does it look like it might have a little bit of romantic -y type style to it? I haven't read the book yet. I haven't read anything. I'm just like looking at the cover. Part of me says yes. Part of me also says that I call her the notorious SRB for a reason. Uh, I have a feeling that this book is, is not going to be what the average reader is going to be expecting. But I told you guys I'm going to read A Good Family by A.H. Kim. That's what you picked out for me, so I'm going to knock that out first. Then I will get to this. Thanks again, Orbit. Appreciate that. That book is coming out July 2024. Doesn't have the exact date on here, but I'm pretty sure it's towards the end of July. Like I said, that's it. Uh, the wife and I, I can't remember if I said this last time, we finished up. Yeah, I think I did. We finished up 
Will Trent for the now. She knocked out normal people. She blew right through that. I, I didn't even get. A, I, I saw snippets. <laughs> when she finds a book, or when she finds a uh, show she really likes, like Peaky Blinders. Oh my goodness, blew out Peaky Blinders. Um, yeah, I just I, there's no way I can keep up because she wants to read it even when I'm not here. So, all right. But like I said, I am a little busy, not getting quite as much reading done, trying to get out a few bucks plus packing, moving, all of that stuff that's in there. But I'm definitely going to try to knock out three books this week. Like I said, I got the audiobook, I've got the ebook, which is Wilding Hall, and I've got the paperback, which is a good family. Want to get those knocked out because uh, then I also want to start on Long Live Evil, if not next week, the week after. That's where I'm at. Yeah. Like I said, not a huge list, uh, but I got in what I could. And I, I really appreciate the fact, again, I think I mentioned it on Goodreads. My only problem with Marsters doing the audiobook for uh, Stormfront is not that he's almost perfect for it. It's the fact that I saw the show. I've still got Paul Blackthorne in my head. And, and I, I apologize. Uh, Marsters, you did an excellent job but I, I just can't get Paul Blackthorne out of that role. However, I'm happy to give, and this is nothing against the actor, it's what they did to the character, I'm happy to get, and I apologize, I forgot his name, the guy who played Bob. What they did to that character was just, no, that's not who Bob is. Stop it. But Blackthorne did, did nail, did nail Dresden. All right, cool. That is it. Going out for the weekend. Chilling with the wife. We're going to go hang out by a lake somewhere. Weather's probably not cooperating. We may see a lot of rain. But if we see a lot of rain, then we'll just get a lot of reading done. So win-win. Doesn't matter what happens. Catch you guys later. Hope you get nothing but five-star reviews. And I didn't think past that, what I was going to say. And I don't have Jacob here to interrupt. All right, and enjoy your three-day weekend, if, if you get a three-day weekend. Not everybody does. I'm not trying to rub it in your face. I'm just saying enjoy it if you get it.